Hello everybody, Peter of England here bringing you a retort or a rebuttal of these so-called accusations that are possibly being levelled to some of you when you are being accused of delivering a cheque, a negotiable financial instrument under most regulated uh, markets in the world reliant upon the Bills of Exchange Act or the United Nations Convention on Bills of Exchange and Promissory Notes 1988, etc. Uniform Commercial Code, etc. about money. So, let's have a little look at what the nature of money is. For those of you who are new to the financial scam that's been perpetrated on you by global banking interests and the world elite, you'll be very interested to know that, yes, approximately these days 98 plus percent of all financial transactions that are made are made by electronic transfer. That is what's called a transfer of a monetary unit of account, checkbook money, or what's called bank ledger money. Yeah? So if any deal has got to be arranged between someone here in England and someone in Hong Kong, they're not putting money on board a ship or transferring it in wheelbarrows down the high street. All they're simply doing is making an electronic transfer. Now, they will ask us, and often they're saying, well, they can't transfer the money to us by the systems that we recognize within our global country club, country elite um, mechanism. And typically that's, they're asking for a swift transfer or one through BAX or CHAPS or LCH or BARX. These are all in-house facilities done to protect all the covert dealings that the global banking elite fund on a daily basis. So whether that's shells for the Intifada, whether that's uh, poison gases being delivered by boat from Africa via Israel and then over to the Middle East, whether it is um, rounds of bullets or anti-personnel mines to be delivered, whether it is money for drug running, whether it is money for chemtrailing or black ops operation run by the, the NSA, the CIA, um, MI5 and MI6, it's all got to be paid for, it's all got to be transferred, and it's all done on their black screen accounts. Okay? So this is a very important thing, the nature of money. 98% of it is electronic. The SWIFT system, for example, for those who don't know and are not aware, was set up in 1973, and all it is is a Belgian telecoms company. And in 1973, for those of you who don't know, it was done to ensure a military-type style of encryption so they can send their dirty, toxic, dealing, criminal activities down a secure cable so other people can benefit from this impropriety, these nefarious activities and these dirty deals that the devil only would do. So, when they're asking for us to make a payment to them, we have an alternative system. It's clean, it's clear, it's transparent, we're open, we don't care who sees it, but ask yourself why they won't ask us for it and why they won't allow us to send it to them in that form. There's no security issue. They must ask for it, we will send it. The other thing that's very important to look at is that as far as they are concerned, once we have cleared your cheque or debited the ledger on our side, in effect, the money, the unit, has been debited from your account. Therefore, it's somewhere. Now, I've mentioned this before. It's either got to be credited into their account or it's floating around in the ether. In many instances, what these people are telling you is the cheque has gone missing, they can't find it. Now, you should say to yourself, well, how come it's gone missing? How come they can't find it? And don't forget this, that check is your property. That check is worth whatever you wrote on it. If they can't produce it to you, then in effect, they have to account to you for the potential of those missing funds. And that is a very strong position. So you need to go back to them, you need to clarify any of these statements that they're making that they say they can't. What they're saying is not we can't, that means in child talk, we won't. They're petulant, they're arrogant, they think they don't require us. But without Weirbank, they are truly and utterly finished. Because their ledgers are decimated, 
the degree of toxic debt is up to and past their lip, past their nostrils at the very bottom now. And if they don't, come to us and allow us to help you and them pay down this, this toxic debt that's infected the body organism of society, then they're going to be imploding upon themselves and the very people who are now telling you that they can't won't have a job and there won't be a bank for them to go back to. So we're a banker's prayer, we should all come together, get the issues resolved and on that note I thank you and don't forget www.wearebank.com, join with us and join with ReMovement.